You know, the big, the actual big news is my glasses came this morning. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, yes, my glasses have arrived. Yes, they have arrived. Okay, these are my new glasses. Um, well, actually, see what happened is they changed the lenses out in my glasses that I had before because, oh, yeah, my prescription changes. In fact, oh, I guess you don't need to hear about all that, but this is the exciting part because otherwise I was using my old glasses. So anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said that... Uh that the, this should be the summer that they basically, uh, August, that they go and they conquer the world. But the Tea Party has destroyed the Republican Party over immigration. And because the people are demanding that 11 million people be given immediate citizenship, that the Tea Party is in a state of collapse, and as people said, B and S, because of the fact that the independents don't want them getting immediate Okay, the way it works out is that the best you're going to get out of anybody is 2033 and the Democrats are pissed. They are really unhappy about that. Mm. And Obama is in free fall in popularity. Oh God, the guy is like 30-some percent now in some, in some of the polls. His own people's polling. The Democrat butt kisser basically, I think was it 35 percent is his foreign policy and under 40 percent on the economy. And his own personal likability is now in the 30s. Mm -hmm. They really are tired of this guy. I mean, they, they said, well, if the Republicans have, you know, it just nominated somebody that was so wasn't so out of the the mainstream. Well. Let's put it this way. Mitt Romney was about as in the middle of the mainstream as you come, folks. Mm. And Mexico's leader unveils plan to open oil industry to foreign films. Oh, you know what Herbie Daddy just said? He said, didn't your grandparents own a lot of stuff of oil in Mexico at the turn of the century? Didn't the Mexican government appropriate all of your parent grandparents' stuff and then your family stuff in Germany? He said, are you going to sue the hell out of any American company that goes into Mexico? Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Same with everybody else, they got a public class action suit. Oh, that are they? Will, that will basically just spin people's eyeballs when they see a suit that's going to hit them. Because um, when when they opened um, tourism up in in Cuba, uh, people like Desi Arnaz's family sued everybody, every company that was involved because Fine. Uh, they owned the businesses that those people were utilizing and not getting paid for it. Oh, yeah. interesting. That's right. When you nationalize and you open them back up, you basically have to follow the same world court rules, which means you take something with somebody, you got to pay them for what you took them, or you can't use it for the same purpose that they were using it for. Mm. And firm offers to pay $477 million for Steinway. Uh, yeah, that, that, that offer, oh, you know what Herbie Daddy said? That offer went ooh, 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 this morning. Why? Because they uh, decided that the, the, some of the other companies that were involved in the, the, in the purchase basically said the company's not worth it because nobody's buying pianos, so mm. Steinway's back on the market. Mm. Pebble Beach Concourse Dale against parades at the world's most expensive cars. Yeah, I'd love to be able to see those cars drive down the street where one simple windstorm can ruin oh. basically. God, I mean, I, 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 it's just the same thing. As, they don't want moisture. It's like they want them in protected yeah, it's just, I, environments. I, I used to have a, a gold wing car that was, a, you know, it was a, my grand, my father-in-law had a gold wing uh, because he picked it up in Germany and it wasn't anything when he picked it up, but he gave it to uh, you know, Cindy for a wedding present and we took it to a Concord thing once and uh, and the guy, you saw the whole, you did what? We what? drove it up here and he said, you did what? He said, it's meant to be true. You did what? And they said, you don't ever drive a car like that. And he said, but what's the purpose of it if you don't drive it? You let people look at it. <laughs> it, it basically, because we then found out, they said, they said, the guy said, she said, you realize what that car is worth? And she said, no, nah, my father's been driving it for years, he just maintains it. And he says, said, oh crap, it never got out of the garage after that. Oh. It sat in the garage because we didn't do car shows, it sat in the garage. Oh God. Yeah, you know, ridiculous. So what good is a car you can't drive? <laughs> and uh, for envy. Yeah, well, <laughs> nobody ever sees it. What's the but they have to see it. That's why you take it to car we, shows. We did take it in one show, and Cindy went and told somebody, told the teacher in the class. Yeah, I said, oh yeah, 
that's that's my father gave me my husband and I that car for a wedding gift. You're the people that own that car, and he said, "Shame on you people for what you've done to that car." Oh God, that was perfect condition. We just drove it. So. What? <laughs> yeah, that was the Concord. You did. That was the Concord Elegance, and um, the one, the big one they had in Fresno. They really had a good one over. And of course, this is the first time I hear it, that you treated a going like that. I drove it. That's what a car. I always thought cars were meant to be drove. I think <laughs> we didn't know any better. Yeah, apparently he gave it to her when she was too young. <laughs> yeah, she was 18. And Australia's opposition pledges tougher asylum laws as the election race heats up. Yeah, every, in every country in the universe is toughing its immigration laws, and the United States is loosening them because Obama, the Democrats can't win the next election because it seems like there's an awful lot of Afro-American voters that are unhappy with the Democratic Party. Oh, really? They just won't vote. When they don't... When they get unhappy, they don't vote, and they're just not voting anymore. And Dole Food agrees on a deal with CEO to go private. Yeah, and uh, this morning the court gave them the permission. Uh, it's ridiculous. They missed their estimates by 75% yesterday, and the market soared on the fact, well, we know the company's got to go private now because the stock isn't going to be worth anything. And since Obama became president, NSA broke privacy rules thousands of times per year. Yeah, they, they specifically stated since Obama became president, they said the FICA court no longer has any authority because the Obama people just simply do as they choose. What did Herbie Daddy say? Oh, ten of the biggest amount of things were, they were on foreign leaders, foreign businesses, and Tea Party people. Ooh, isn't that amazing, the coincidence? Oh, like that should be a surprise. Yeah. And lawsuit hits North Carolina as soon as voter ID bill approved. Oh, I, I mean, I saw this last night. The Democrats. The guy, one of the guys said, "Okay." He said, uh, "He said you're you're an Afro American, right?" And he said, "Yes." He said, "Do you own an automobile?" He said, "Well, no." He said, um, "Do you live anywhere near uh, a place to get a uh, you know to get a driver's license for ID?" He says, "Well, no. I just I, I just." go take the bus. And he said, do you have a, a driver's license? He said, well, yeah. He said, do you, do you use checks? He said, yes. Do you use credit cards? Yes. Do you fly an airplane? Yes. He said, do you have a passport? Yes. He said, did you go to the Democratic Convention last year? He said, yes. Then you tell me why in the hell other people can't simply take a bus to get the free ID that you took the bus to get. He said, well, because a lot of people simply don't understand. And he said, in other words, you're saying most black people are too ignorant and he said, well, that's not what I said. He said, that's exactly what you said. They don't understand the procedure. But all he understood because he was educated. Oh, boy. And Weiner insists he stayed in the New York mayoral fight. Oh, yeah. They, they, they got some guy, some guy that's to the left of the known universe is now leading in the mayor over those ship. Weiner has no chance, but neither anymore does the, uh, you know, Elliot Spitzer. He basically is now tanked because... They, they're basically lumping all of these people together now that have been lost their jobs because of sex problems. Well, there are some people... <laughs> yeah. That, let's just put it this way. If he wasn't in the position he was, the, he would be treated differently. Well, he had... The, okay. He, Spitzer had hair and was mayor of the state, which... I mean, governor of the state, which... I don't understand why he quit anyway. He wasn't using anybody's money but his own. Well, dollar. I don't understand why he had to quit. Wiener's a different case. Wiener was basically using federal money. He, he, he filed a, F, a false complaint with the FBI. All oh, he did? Spencer did, yeah. He said that his accounts had been hacked when he was actually sending them to girls. Oh, um, yeah, that one. But don't worry. The Democrats have said, well, we all know the Republicans are far worse at any than this than the Democrats, but Republicans have done it so long and broke so many laws that they they handle it better than people that don't know how to do it. And U.S. judges urge Congress to give courts more money. It ain't gonna happen. They're, they're, because the courts basically are okay. Everybody, we have the worst legal system in the whole god awful world anymore. You basically you got guys that basically are terrorists being charged as workplace, you know, violence. You have courts refusing to give people purple hearts that are wearing military uniforms and shot by another guy in a uniform on a military base. Mm -hmm. And you've got people being given salary that have, uh, that have already admitted they're criminals. Mm -hmm. so. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, it's a comparison. While Rome was burning, Nero filled. 
While the economy of the United States is tanking, the President of the United States has started out on a new fundraising tour for the Democrats to keep the economy in the situation it's already in. Here it is.